Hello kids, happy Tuesday. I'm sorry that I'm not here today. Um, so I'm gonna do an on this day with you. Um, and then you're gonna take your quiz and um, we'll talk about that in a, in a few minutes after I do the on this day. And then you have a little assignment about cuneiform because remember that's what we're doing on Friday. You're gonna go to scribe, scribe school on Friday. Um, so pay attention to what we're doing today. Um, good luck on your quiz and I, uh, let's do the on this day. So on this day in history, Sesame Street debuts in 1969. Now, raise your hand without blurting if you have ever watched Sesame Street. One of my favorite blankets growing up was an Elmo blanket. I had Elmo. My brother had Bert and Ernie, and my sister had the Cookie Monster. So that's something um, I remember. I really liked Sesame Street as a kid, but it was a pioneering TV show. That would teach generations of young children the alphabet and how to count. Um, the memorable theme song, How to Get to, uh, what is called How to Get to Sesame Street, and that's one people know of. And it became a widely viewed children's program, and the, the most widely viewed. Um, it aired in more than 120 countries, which is pretty cool. Um, and the goal was to create a programming for preschoolers that were both that was both entertaining and educational, which we know that that is way more fun to have something that's both of those things. Um, and it was a way for under to help underprivileged kids prepare for kindergarten. So some people have parents who can help them do that kind of stuff at home and some parents have to work all the time. So this was a great way to kind of have some entertainment, but educational entertainment throughout the day. Um, it was set in a fictional New York neighborhood that was um, ethnically diverse, and the main characters were both positive, and they um, uh, gave a positive social message. So you can see, um, even on this picture, ethnically diverse, um, lots of different groups of people, which is very, um, reflects New York very well. Uh, where we live, there's not a lot of diversity, so it's also good for kids to see that there is this thing called diversity around the world. Um, they have short, funny segments that featured puppets and animation and live actors, and it was hugely successful, and over 80 million Americans have watched Sesame Street, so there you go. All right, now, oops, on, we'll talk about Veterans Day on Friday, because um, you have no school on Wednesday, don't forget. Um, so remember, on your quiz, you can use your ISN. Um, I know that hopefully at least two sections are done because we did that together last week when I, on Wednesday last week, which is when I'm recording this. Um, so make sure, okay, if you're using this, you're only on this page. You may not be surfing the web or on your, um, online textbook. Like this is the only page that's to be open. I understand that I'm not here to monitor that. However, I have this fun little thing called Hapara, and I will be on that, watching and making sure you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, if I know you cheated, you will get a zero on your quiz, and let's just say that's not a great way to start your second trimester, and you'll get a referral. Um, okay, assessment. This is what you're, you're getting this quiz in paper form. Um, I wanted to do it on paper this time because... When we do test correctives, I don't want you to see the right answer. I want you to have to figure out the right answer. So there are, let's see, 15 multiple choice questions um, and then three questions about the timeline, okay? Make sure read the timeline, all right? Okay, read what it's asking you. Um, and then the last part is this matching section. Now, guys, not going to lie, I made a typo. Um, I just added these A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Um, I also have a typo down here that I forgot to fix. Um, yours doesn't have that on there. I've written this same word bank up on the board. Um, I need you to write the letter. That's why there's this little thing here. So if you want to like add an A, B, C next to the correct ones, that would be great. But you don't have enough room to write out the answer on the side. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, did not mean to do that, but it happened. Um, so make sure, write the letter. I need to know the letter. So when you use Babylonian Empire down here, I need there should be an A on the answer for that. Um, 
Okay, after you're done with your quiz today, you will have this worksheet. It's on a brown piece of paper, I believe, and it's called the cuneiform alphabet. Cuneiform is one of the earliest known systems of writing. It developed in Sumer, which you know, and sometime around 4000 BC. And it is dis it, it's distinguished by its wedge-shaped marks on the clay tablets made by means of a blunt reed for a stylus. So remember, I think some of the classes I showed um, Uh, I show sorry, I was I forgot what the second part of this was. I showed you how the little wooden stylus is. So this is your practice before your actual clay tablet. You have to turn this piece of paper into me on Friday, or you do not get to do the clay tablet. Let me say that one more time. If you do not complete this worksheet, you do not get to make the clay tablet in class. Here's why. This is a practice, okay? It's gonna be funky to do it on clay. And we only have one class period where we're doing this. So I need you to be ready, okay? You need to be ready to write. Um, you're gonna spell some things out on here. You're gonna spell your name, and then you're going to write a message in the space below about Mesopotamia, then find three people who can translate it. So we're probably not gonna do that part. I just need you to write a message and then um, I, yeah, it just needs to be, I don't, you're not going to have time to do this all in class. So as long as there's a message down here, great. I will, I guess, try to translate it later, but this is mostly practice. So enjoy doing this. Um, I will see you on Friday. Have a great day and be good, please.